Welcome to Talitarka Vikas. Thank you so much. Okay, the question is, in the 11 years of your journey in the television industry, and perhaps a couple of movies, yep. uh, what made you become an actor? Oh, uh, I, I know, can't say that I wanted to become an actor. Uh, I was my father being, so he wanted me to be an actor. So we shifted our base to Bombay. Then uh, probably it was a little tough to get work because if you don't have a background, mm -hmm. it's a little tough. So I started doing modeling. And I did uh, one ad, uh, I think it was uh, some whiskey ad, and uh, I was the fifth guy in the row. And uh, I don't know, that guy saw me and uh, there was only one line in the the entire thing and he said you know this guy got a good voice tell him to say so after that I started getting a lots of like I did Colgate I was the first uh, brand ambassador for Aquafina in India okay I did dreams lots of uh, other things then uh, not this building earlier building that used to stay Nina Gupta's office used to be upstairs so okay. I was just one day I was just playing and they asked me if you want to play a brat role and we are making a show called Kyon Kai. Yeah. Right. Simultaneously I was doing Oops. Okay. Uh, which was on uh, male strippers. Okay. It was way ahead of time. Mm -hmm. uh, but nothing uh, ashamed of what because it was a storytelling of uh, two people, mm -hmm. two friends. One agrees for some time like, okay, it's fun, but it's not my career going to be. But uh, somehow, didn't work out. After that, I got lots of offers for films, but they were like similar, right. which I don't, which I really refused because that time television was coming up really well. Mm -hmm. So Kiyo Pya ran really, 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 really nice yeah. because I was I was playing a very mischievous character. Okay. Like he was funny, he was angry, everything was, and I enjoyed it. Right. Then I did one show with uh, Z mm -hmm. uh, called Chonset Panni. Okay. That was, it's, uh, that role is my favorite role. Like, I can still get Moogam while I'm talking to you. Because it was really, 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 really uh, performance oriented. Like, I didn't have a single breathing moment in that show where I could like, stand lightly or that was it's a show very close to my heart right. where, where I discovered myself as an actor okay. uh, uh, like the director said you know you like he used the little uh, different language I can't say it on you know you are like he said you're very dash <laughs> you just come on the set and uh, you go blah 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 playing here and there, here and there, here and there, here and there. The moment the camera is on and you take everybody by surprise. I said, yeah, when I come back, when I come in the morning, I sit while I'm doing my makeup, I read all my scenes. Right. I think what I can do. Right. I think. I say I want to learn. Right. And I still keep on learning every right. day. Mm -hmm. So that's why, that was the best compliment I could ever get from a director who's sitting there who's observing me that I'm not even paying attention to anything and boom the camera was on and I delivered it in one take and he's saying how I said I don't know I just I just love this movie to this camera I can talk to camera like anything okay, okay, okay. In, in this tough industry of television, what support other than your father you have received because if it was his dream to become an actor, who else has been your strength in this journey? Uh, my father passed away before he could actually see me on screen, like uh, actually being uh, made it so big that I was so popular and uh, 
After his death, I was really crushed. Right. Uh, my wife, my family, my brother, my mom, but undoubtedly my wife. Right. Undoubtedly. How did you meet her? Well, we met in a, a very strange situation. We both were drunk. And uh, <laughs> we spoke to each other and uh, she said, I'm from Chandigarh and I said, I'm from Chandigarh. So we exchanged numbers. Next day I said, we will call her, man, come on, one of the girls. And, and she was flying to uh, BVIP flight with the Prime Minister and uh, she got a call in the night that you are doing the flight. So before doing the flight, anybody cannot leave the city for 20 days. Mm -hmm. Can't leave it, so don't. Uh, so she was here, we started meeting each other. After six months, I proposed her, we got married. Oh, lovely. How long have you been married now? 11 years. Wow, fabulous. So she actually started the journey with you in the television industry? Yes, she did. Okay. What she, do you think your father would be thinking when you became the big star, if he were alive? He was the... Like, uh, when I got uh, the best actor uh, for Kani Toga, hmm. like it uh, It was clean sweep for all the... Uh, like before they could announce and the auditorium used to say Vikas, Vikas, Vikas. So right. I used to look up and uh, I cried, definitely I did. Right. And uh, I still feel uh, I bought, uh, when I bought my first big car and uh, I was just, I could uh, give him, you know, I have two, three cars now, I can, you know, just, I could, I wish, you know, he could be, but uh, everything has a fate, so maybe he's gone up and uh, uh, said to God that, you know, my son is talented or whatever. That's how I started getting jobs. How involved is your wife in your career, if at all? Oh, not as a career, I would say everything. Okay. Every, 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 every tough journey, like when my father passed away, whatever money I had, we had to spend on him and everything. She single-handedly uh, ran the house for one year. I didn't have work. Okay. And she's a, like, she's a very soft-spoken. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to, like, a difficult situation, She's like Iron Man for me. Right. What about her is the best thing that you love besides, I mean, everything? You know, one thing, you know, it could be someone's quiet strength. Like you said, she's Iron, Iron Man in tough her, situations. Her, her, how to handle a difficult situation, very calmly. And doesn't show on face that she is, or, you know, like, I might, uh, I know I can do it, but sometimes I say, I can, it shows on my face, but she doesn't. Right. And is there anything that you'd want to change about her, even after 11 years, that probably niggles you? Is there anything? No. All hunky-dory? Yes, perfect. Absolutely lovely to hear that. Yeah. Because, you see, uh, if you don't fight, you're not going to laugh. I agree. Because if I'm doing something wrong, if she's not going to fight with me and to stop me not to do it, then if I say that she is nagging, I'm really sorry, that's not. You know, she's correcting me. Correct. Now, what do you look forward to in your personal life uh, with this new project? Oh, uh, let's see what happens and uh, uh, after uh, a gap it's I'm going back on star okay. because most of the shows I've done on star right. it's been uh, two years I've not worked with star so they recommended and they called so right. homecoming right how long was this hiatus that you took sorry how long was the hiatus that you took? How long have you not taken a project on before uh, you took this one? Three months. 
three months. Yep. Um, so you regularly uh, strive to work or do you take long hiatus? Do you think a sabbatical is necessary for an actor to recharge? Yeah. And uh, from uh, fiction, I go to non-fiction. I do those uh, uh, dancey numbers, uh, those uh, Nachpadi I did with my wife and uh, uh, I did uh, Nach Ke Dikha. So you get breathing, definitely. Tell us about a reality show experience, both both of the dance shows that you did. Oh, uh, both. See, it's, it, you can't uh, judge them, seriously. It's, it's completely audience-oriented uh, uh, stuff and uh, you don't know what's happening, actually. Mm. But it's nice that uh, people actually talk about it, that you, uh, like I, I love my performance when uh, girls through challenge to us that we have to do that. Right. And uh, everybody looked at me. So I said, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. I said, I said, I have no issue, I'll do it. So, I was locked up for two days and I said, I said, nobody will call. Hmm. Unless or until I'll call everybody that I am prepared, come and see, nobody will call. Right. And I was competing against a girl who's done Kathak for the last eight years. Wow. And when the show started, everything happened, her performance was, she was brilliant, right. flawless, everything. And my turn, I did, the result, it was a tie. Uh -huh. He said we can't because she was flawless, but you've come, we didn't even uh, like thought about a challenge, mm -hmm. but you made us do something which has never happened on Indian television. Right. In two days, you've done a form which you've never done it. Yeah. And it takes a lifetime, actually. No, but I know. I just did it. It happened to me. So are you a person who would thrive on challenges? Yeah, why not? Whenever they, they told me, okay, jazz, I said, okay, I'll do it. No okay. Why not? It's adventurous life. Uh, if I'm uh, getting learn something uh, without I'm being paid, uh -huh. I'm getting paid uh -huh. for it, uh -huh. so why not? Right. right. Tell me something from your college days where you would have been given a challenge and you did it. If you remember anything now, I'm sure you do. Something. Oh, there are stupid challenges in college, okay, we can go up and just <laughs> do the fire, take your bike and just ram into it and just jump from this wall and that. That's the only uh, stint because I'm a very cautious driver. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't uh, like crash driving at all. Uh, I like civilizing driving which is not possible in India, right. probably everywhere. Right. They keep on honking when it's a jam. You can <laughs> see there's a car ahead, there's a car behind, there's a car here, there's a car. Sorry, I can't fly. Suddenly, I'm not going to become a Batman and rob Suddenly, my car doesn't <laughs> be a Batman. Suddenly, I just disappear and you guys can go, come on, I'm stuck. I can't fly. So, yeah, people should know, people should realize that, you know, by honking the kind of pollution you are doing to anybody. Right. Everybody. It's pathetic. Thank you so much. If you could just do a message for Talitarka viewers, you know, like that you're watching me on Talitarka or something. Okay, hi guys, I'm Vikas Sethi. As you know, you're watching me on Talitarka. Uh, it was lovely talking to Talitarka, and I wish uh, you guys uh, you know, watch me on Keith and uh, pray for me that I do well again for you guys and uh, keep you entertaining throughout my life. Right. Thank you.